Hi, Mark Donovan here from Falcon Imagery, and today I'm going to go over the major engine components in this Piper Warrior. So for this Piper Warrior, we have a Lycoming 0320 uh, 160 horsepower engine. Um, it's four cylinders, uh, two cylinders on either side of the uh, crankshaft. It's horizontally opposed um, design, and it's normally aspirated. There's no turbocharging going on in this aircraft. You can see here some of our exhaust manifold pipes. Uh, you see here spark plug leads uh, that go to two spark plugs in the bottom of the cylinders. And, and then we have another set of spark plug leads that go to each cylinder on top. And we have the same on the other side. Uh, we have a magneto here, and there's a second magneto on the other side. Uh, we've got this redundancy in terms of magnetos so that uh, for two reasons, um, reliability or, or safety, in case we lose a magneto, the, the engine will still uh, fire and still operate. Uh, but also by having the redundant magnetos, we get a more efficient fuel burn and a little bit more horsepower um, out of the engine uh, when, we, when we're running it. That's why we, when we do a mag check uh, as part of our run-up, we basically ground out one of the magnetos and, and have it run off the other one. And we always notice a drop and we're trying to identify and confirm that we do indeed have some amount of drop, not too much, but some to ensure that, um, uh, that both magnetos are working. I uh, also notice this orange scat tubing here. Uh, this one here um, basically is uh, used for taking fresh air in through the front of the cowling. That air gets flowed into here, goes through an air filter, and then through the scat tubing over to a box just underneath the carburetor, which is down low on the engine. We have our dipstick for oil. Uh, though the POH says you can go as low as two, two quarts, you really never want to fly the plane with two quarts of oil in it. Um, we fly a minimum of five and a half quarts in the aircraft, uh, typically between five and a half to six and a half is what we normally will see for oil in the aircraft. Here we have our oil filter sitting adjacent to the magnetos. This scat tubing down here is providing heat into the aircraft, some heat and defrost capability. Um, over here, we have our engine mounts. Always want to take a look at those to make sure we don't have any broken mounts or loose engine mounts. Though difficult to see a little bit, down here we have a screen right here. And we have this exhaust manifold pipe and we have the scat tubing here. And what this is associated with is with carburetor heat. And when air is drawn in over the exhaust manifold pipe, and that air gets preheated and warmed up and flows through the scat tubing to the box just right there um, below the carburetor so that we get a warm air mixture um, into the carburetor that mixes with the fuel. And this helps to eliminate, eliminate any icing that may have formed in the throat of the carburetor. Over here, we have our hydraulic um, reservoir for our brakes. Our brakes are hydraulic um, brakes, so we always check the, the fluid level in there. Down here is where our fuel sump is, uh, where the fuel lines come into uh, the engine bay area from the fuel tanks. And there's the alternator connected um, to the crankshaft via alternator belt. Uh, the alternator is used for producing electricity um, AC electricity uh, that controls uh, powering all of our avionics and our lights on the aircraft. And those are the major components associated with the engine bay of this Piper Warrior. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, consider the like button and subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.